Hello, my name is Trent Mulligan of Avocation Systems, and today we're here talking about the basics of video distribution. Joining me is Richard Reisbick. Richard is an engineering, design, and manufacturing expert who's been involved in the audio video distribution industry now for over 24 years. Welcome, Richard. It's great to be here. So, Richard, today we're talking about the proper way to set up and distribute video. Uh, when we talk about video distribution today, there are three basic scenarios that come up. Can you briefly tell us what those are and what products are needed in each instance? Sure. Well, the first one is when you have one source and you want to take it to many locations. Mm -hmm. And that uses a distribution amp. And those typically might be used in a retail store or a cafeteria type of location. Then you have many sources to one monitor or a projector. Mm -hmm. And that is typical in, say, a boardroom, conference room type place or a training center, right. um, sometimes in a, in a home theater. Then you have where you have many sources that you want to take to many locations. That's typically done with a matrix router. And it is typically in, say, a sports bar or in a full home audio video distribution system. Okay. In saying that, can you talk a little bit more about the different types of pre-wire used for video distribution and list some of the pros and cons of each? Sure. The first is a good old coax. It is tried and true, it rarely fails, and it works even when you have a problem with it at an attenuated level, your signal still gets to the other end. Right. Then you have Cat5 and Cat6, which is very inexpensive to run. The um, transceivers that go with that are typically low to moderate in cost. Mm -hmm. And there are many devices on the market to allow you to use them. But they do have some electrical noise problems in some locations. Right. Then you have Ethernet, which is uh, fairly inexpensive on the cable side. It's easy to terminate. The price for the transceivers are moderate to high. Mm -hmm. um, and they usually compress the video signal in order to get them to go through Ethernet. Then you have optical fiber, which is moderately inexpensive. It's easy uh, to terminate. Mm -hmm. The cost is moderate to high for the transceivers on it, but it will allow you to transmit full uncompressed uh, 3D video through it with audio as well as control. Okay. Richard, thanks for giving us some valuable information regarding the basics of video distribution. It's been my pleasure. For more information, tips, expert advice on audio video distribution, check out these sites.